This time I thought of sharing a few insights on my new animation tryout session. So to start with, you can use a reference image you prefer to do a similar animation on. Today I thought of using the WhatsApp logo, since these days everyone is talking about WhatsApp's new privacy policy. You can make use of the iOS split view and simply drag and drop the image into the working canvas. Since the reference image is of low quality, I prefer to make a remake of the same with much smoother outlines. You can skip this step if you have a good quality reference. For selecting colors, I'm using the reference image colors. You can do the same by dragging the image into the palette area. This will create a color palette automatically using the image. Once the reference is ready, turn the background into black color or any color of your preference. And make sure you always keep your layers organized. When doing an animation it is important to keep the order of the layers and layer names properly. Now we are ready to start the animation. Keep the opacity reduced, so you can see the reference image slightly. Here I'm using duplicate layers from the reference and clipping those layers with new layers. Go to the settings icon and toggle the animate assist option. This will enable a new panel at the bottom area with frames to use for the animation process. Firstly, select the first layer with the reference image and long press or click that layer on the new panel. Here you get to change a few settings. For now, let's make this layer as background by toggling this option. Now, this layer will see across all frames as the background.
Using the duplicated layers we can draw the animation for each layer. Keep playing the animation frames from time to time, and test how it looks while you draw on them. You can adjust the speed of the animation, by changing the frames per second option. When you are done with drawing the animated frames, change the opacity of the layers to full, and hide the reference layers to get the final output. Hope you enjoyed this, and it was useful to you. Let me know in the comments, if you have any questions, and if you want to see any specific art videos in the future. Like this video, and subscribe to the channel to encourage me to create more content.